tracks. Starting all the way back at the Big Bang. Must be a James Michener novel. Yeah. <laughs> Six stars. Eat it, Eisenhower. Variety film has outclassed you. Upskirt surf party. Hell yeah. Not my first language, hoping they make sense. The last shark versus the last of the Mohicans in a no holds barred grudge match to see who's the lastest of all. Quick pose for a tourist t shirt there. an easier way to get your back slightly wet. <laughs> Pretending you're blondie, but you're not blondie. <laughs> okay, last shark, you can show up any time now. Take care of business. Badass moves he's pulling on this utterly calm and placid water. Okay, now get out the sparklers and the twirling baton for the big finish. You can do this, Chad. You can do this. Now he's doing a fin move. Come on, last shark. He's mocking you. How long will you let this stand? Gentle breeze surfing to the extreme. Well, all these Italian names. If this wouldn't happen to be a foreign cash grab rushed into production to capitalize on an American movie success. Please, Kevin, Maurizio Amate, Ugo Tucci, and their non-union Italian crew had only the purest of motives. Uh-huh. Say, Bill, where'd you get that calzone you're eating? Oh, you, you got it all wrong. This isn't a bribe from the Italians. Uh-huh. And what flavor calzone is it? It's, uh, it's a spicy a meatball. I thought so. Now, a hot question from listener Jim Dalen. Who's bigger in Denver, Kim Basinger or Kelly LeBrock? Whatever it takes to make you feel just right. Time for all you windsurfers out there to roll out of those racks and into the zone. You windsurfers do have radios on those things, right? South Bass and Tenio Regatta on Saturday. Of course, we all know that our own local surf sailor, Mike Patterson's pretty sure that he's got that trophy wrapped up. This is WXBO Exposition Radio. for the last several weeks. Where'd you get your input, Hoyt? Mike's just about sleeping on his board these days. Of course, Billy Joe Wells figures he's got a chance, too. Fortunately, either way, Don't nobody cares go. about windsurfing. Well, again, the reporter's got to have his morning shot at Dad. Well, who knows? Maybe his daddy will buy that trophy. <laughs> who knew <laughs> Howard Stern started an Italian windsurfing talk radio? <laughs> anyway, I was going to play it for Mike, but uh, I don't think he can hear it. Uh, am I Matthew McConaughey yet? Jailbait tagging in. Good morning to you, too. Wait, you're not the DJ. I thought you were coming to this man. This is the whole movie, folks. Content people hanging out at a quiet beach. Will they get margaritas or coronas with lunch? The tension's I so high! I as early as usual. He's been out almost an hour already. Wow, look at him. Uh, look at him go. Ooh. <laughs> Just really. <laughs> yeah. He's really out to win, huh? He will, too. There's nobody around here who can touch him. <laughs> well, except for maybe that radical shark with the bitchin' hair who just rolled into town. W.S. 
USGA wants to remind one and all that Saturday marks the beginning of the Centennial Week festivities. After the windsurfing event, committee chairman William Wells Sr. has graciously provided the grounds of his estate for an open house barbecue. And that's evidently worthy of broadcast news instead of a handwritten flyer posted at the public pool. Wells' generosity has anything to do with the fact that he's running for governor in the uh, November election. What's he got against my old man? No well, creating you, you, for you one. Know, USGA listeners don't vote anyways, and your dad knows it. This guy's dad windsurfed out for a pack of smokes one day and never came back. Uh, no music? What? Yeah, guys, I don't know why, but I feel like some tense, repetitive music might really add to the mood here. Oh, at first I didn't hear what you guys meant about the music, mm-hmm. but now I get it. It's like it's reminding me of something similar, but done way better. Right. But, but that's crazy, right? It's nuts. I don't know. Guys, I got it. What? Dun, 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 Wait, I'm not a beautiful skinny dipping co-ed. You've got the wrong guy! (laughs) Alas, this bra has done his last do, married his last gym, and packed his last son. (laughs) Not a lifeguard, just a jogger with weird-ass taste in clothes. What is that? And now we move breathlessly from the terrifying shark attack action to um, this car. This slow-moving car, which I think is parking. Mm. Mm. Let's Mm. see. Let's see. (sighs) Wow. Oh, God. You weren't filming me parked just now, were you? You were? Why on earth would you film that? Well, you certainly won't put it in the movie, at least. Upskirt staircase party. Kind of creepier than the upskirt surf party. Get home. Casually turn on the coffee maker without loading any water or coffee. The usual routine. Peter Benton. Hey, didn't he write Jaws? No, that was Peter Benchley. Peter Benton wrote... uh, See here. Oh, some garbage novel called The Last Shark? Ooh, sounds awful. Hope I never encounter it in any form. Hi, honey. I assume it was a flash of literary genius that kept you from making the coffee while I was out. Dark and stormy night. Yep, literary genius, honey. Some flash of literary genius. I'd have probably made just as bad coffee. <laughs> I'm a failure professionally and personally, dear. Okay. How was yoga? No, there's a little chop, but nice. <laughs> Her coffee-making method is reckless. I won't stand for it. Where's Jenny? Still asleep? No, no, she left just after you did. She's gone surfing with the boys. Hopefully that was a lie, and they're really doing drugs oh, and having way, casual sex. You haven't forgotten the committee meeting, have you? I promised you'd be there with me today. Oh. It's just, uh, I've got a lot of classical music to ignore and coffee to not make. Daddy, we need your help. The Bubba Gump Shrimp Company on the pier raised the price of Lieutenant Dan's drunken shrimp. Daddy, what do we do? We were surfing about 200 yards out, and all of a sudden we didn't see him anymore. We were watching him. It looked like he was doing fine. And then, like Jenny said, he was gone. No sign of him or anything. We need your boat, Dad. Oops, found him. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. It'd have been a full two minutes since we saw that car get parked. Okay, I'll see you guys inside. Peter didn't show, huh? 
surprise me. After all, our sign is terrible. Don't read this all right, but the artists can't be bothered with little things like his hometown celebration. Also, am I Wells? Not sure. Any explanation? And neither do I. Excuse me, Mr. Yeah. Rosa. Uh, later. Gotta go let Mr. Moose dump ping pong balls on me. Sure, it looks like when Cookie Monster takes a bite out of a plate, but please take it seriously, a boy is dead. Hey, it's Italian rip-off Quint. You all know me, and know how I make my living. Organ grinder, I'm guessing? Yeah. Smells like Kool-Aid. Sharkleberry Finn has killed again. Well, better go Father George Costanza. <laughs> hey, up! Close-ups of Mustache Men, the motion picture. Jenkins, come rub your mustache on mine. The director will zoom in. This is an opportunity you can't afford to score. Good morning, Mr. Wells. <laughs> Wait, him too? Next, it cuts to the shark combing a giant bushy mustache. He couldn't come. I thought you said he'd be joining us today. Yes, I know what. Uh, you know temperamental writers, Mr. Wells. You were boning Eudora Welty for a while. You can't interrupt inspiration. Gloria, we're depending on Peter to help us with the regatta. Of course, I know. And so does Peter. A movie regatta has a 90% chance of being disrupted by Rodney Dangerfield. Problem. What kind of problem? <laughs> well, one of Mr. Jenkins. Wells. Yes? Washington on the phone for you. He'll want his wooden teeth okay, back. I better take hats. this. No, no, slowly, slowly. <laughs> good. Follow the hats. Yeah, follow the hats, Jim. Okay, good. You want me to hold? No, follow them up. We stay on them, and we leave them, and end up here. And zoom in. A tight shot on the big man. Close-ups of mustache oh, men. Well, the behind-the-scenes footage. We're uh, laying out the shooting schedule. Fine. When do I get to see it? Well, uh, would uh, tomorrow morning be convenient? No, I've got to put up more Pepsi crap uh, tomorrow. Half an hour on my own. Half an hour? Sorry, Mr. Wells. Bob, I'm relying on you. The next season of Voyage of the Mimi really doubled down on the sleeping bag nudity. One thing's for sure, it wasn't a floating chainsaw. Well, let's chop it up and sell it to I'm Mrs. Paul as here. fish stick filler. Never been a reported shark sign of anything big enough to have done that since I've been here. Fine, you want shark music? There. Nobody will ever come up with better shark music. It has to be one hell of a specimen, too. Well, I don't know why. Uh, but the trouble <laughs> is, once they get a free meal, once they get a taste, they tend to hang around looking for more. The chilling hanging around and looking for more theme. Well, I don't know where. Sorry. Well, there's still a missing half of Mike's surfboard. Maybe Mike's on it, drifting around out there. Maybe. He's hoping the other guy doesn't take notice of the little bits of Mike stuck between his teeth. Jesus. What? They got a windsurfer got on Saturday. If we cancel it, we may have to refund all four of the tickets we sold. I'll read you in the Coast Guard. I haven't started the search for the boy. I'll tell him, check okay. the shark toilet for chunks. Boys are like corn for sharks. Ooh, obviously the shark has been reading The Boat Rocker by Terrence Mann. Next, the shark snatches her bikini top, Benny Hill style. What knocked you in the water? A shark or something? Thank you, Nick. What's wrong with you guys? You almost scraped my side off. Oh, sorry, kiddo. Just didn't want you drifting out to sea, that's all. Because once you get out to international waters, whatever a manatee wants to do to you is perfectly legal. It's good to know. <laughs> what makes you so sure it's a shark? Could have been a prop, couldn't it? Oh, come on, Bill. Look at that board. Seriously, think Repeller made those cuts? Maybe it's one of them Mediterranean well, we axe dolphins? Could have drifted up from Florida for a minute. Well, anyway, 
I don't buy it. Ah, come on, Matt. It's not a question of buying it or not buying it. There's a kid missing. That's all that matters. Oh, serenity out. now. Act Glover's out there in patrol. Maybe he'll come up with something. This is where we found the surfboard. Now, the current here runs off toward Eagle Rock. Now, Mike would know that. He'd be smart enough not to try and swim against it. The same Mike whose SAT score was just the poo down. emoji? I don't think so. And then he locked Excuse me. Then he locked will maybe recover a toe to bury, he was going to say. Hello. What if he's been hurt? Now, Amy. What about the boat that ran across the board? Why didn't they pick him up? Okay. Well, they're probably still picking bits of him out of the mortar. I mean, he's fine. That was Jenny. The uh, Coast Guard radioed in. They found something. We said we found a new species of sea cucumber. You didn't have to come all the way down here. <laughs> Helicopters really contributing there. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, helicopter. We can. Uh, what? I said we can handle it from here. It's hard to hear you over my helicopter. <sighs> Okay, looks like you guys got this now. We do. Glad I could help. You didn't. Thank you. Look at the way it's listening. It's a wonder it didn't sink. Maybe they have some news about Mike. I don't see anyone on board. There's something fishy here. I don't like it. Yay for teamwork! Please hit a power line. Was stopping for Slurpees necessary? Hey, your son's not getting any less eaten. <laughs> Hi. They just got here this moment. So the teens just hang out at the cargo harbor? Yeah, in this town, Jack and Diane suck on chili dogs while observing Coast Guard salvage missions. Chris? Who's both that? Ed Glover's. Not Ed Glover. I'd grown fond of him in the past point four John, seconds. What <laughs> Ed. Found it swamp. What's going up on the rocks out near Eagle? Where's Ed? There was nobody on the boat. Why, why couldn't it have been Jimmy Buffett's boat instead of Ed Glover's? Ed Glover's the last sailor around here to get himself caught in the Eagle Rock current. Um, we were all Unless aware of Ed Glover's boating hey. proficiency. Please. Ed Glover's book. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's an Ed Glover biopic. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm here too, Ed Glover and all. Oh, Ed Glover. <laughs> Gina, suppose you're going to tell me you're shark to this too. I'm not here to tell you anything, Matt. Two people disappearing in one day bothers me. Once we get a nice, even rule of three, then I'll be able to relax. A grown man still wearing his high school ring? That's so embarrassing. Oh, I better start thinking about that regatta bill. Couldn't it have been something else? Couldn't it have been an explosion? We all know that when Ed goes fishing, he uses grenades. <laughs> he <which> does? <laughs> Why the hell isn't this an Ed Glover <laughs> biopic? Great. You see any bother marks here? Look, look at it and tell me a grenade did this. I don't care what did it. I've never been known to quit. South Bay's having its regatta. We already canceled this year's Pinewood Derby because Tommy yeah, Nichols came down know. with a cold, I damn it! Of course I can. In fact, I have to. There's too much at stake now. <laughs> and I just peed in your harbor, too, Dorks. Peter! Look! That would be the other half of Mike's surfboard. Any more doubts? Now, now, Mike's mom. I'm sure they'll find Ed Glover. No damn shark's gonna screw up a whole year's work and planning. We're going ahead with the regard. A windsurfer forgot it takes I a year to plan? Me. They laid off the Normandy invasion in like a couple of months. Wasn't the Mikkel. Wasn't the Tiger. There's only one shark in this whole world big enough to have caused that kind of damage. A street shark. I'm thinking Moby Lick. Come on, if you want to trap it, just throw a giant six-pack ring in the water. 
The key to this plan is to make the Sharks pay for the wall. Gentlemen, there is absolutely no need for you to worry about me allowing anything to happen to my town. Can More this wait until we're done? ...taken to protect the wind surface. This section of the bay has been completely closed off by special shark-proof netting which extends from here to here. Shark-proof netting courtesy of the Acme Corporation. ...along these strategic points. And boats with our men aboard will be anchored outside the netting here, here, and here. Sir, how late were you up making trees for, for your little map? ...in which the regatta takes place will be 100% safe. Gentlemen, absolutely nothing is going to happen. My evil twin has seized control of the public access channel. Yeah. Cover as much as you can. When you're through, you'll have enough material to put together a pretty good documentary on Wells Water Sports Security. Water Sports Security Documentary? Water Sir, water. you're running for governor. Please focus. The wrong idea. <laughs> I'm not saying they will, but just in case. Don't add that stuff till I give the word. I might want to add some cool model dune right, buggies to my map. We'll have a lot more on our hands than a rogue shark to worry about. Hey, wait a minute. You mean people will... Panic. Yeah. We have to avoid that at all costs. Ah, shark! Clearly. Puts me in a rather precarious position. What do I tell the station? Nothing. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. One ticket on the first boat out of town, please? Yeah, it's 10.45 a.m. somewhere. How many boats do you think we'll need? Well, we'll need the beer boat, boat for the empties, keg boat. I'd say about eight, including yours. Well, we better make it ten. My office has instructions to give you whatever you need. Just call. That's very nice of you, but there's only one thing that I'd be needing. I'll need to eat your mustache Amen. to provide sustenance to my own. that great white. Are, are you going to have sex I'm with the... I'm going to have sex with the head, yes. Just I'm happy to let you have it, but technically, where does my body end and my head begin? The great white shark. Affectionately known in the tropics as White Death. White Death was the variety but headline when Friends got surface. canceled. There's nothing else could have caused the kind of damage we've seen. Now, I know the... Uh, Great White isn't supposed to be in our waters here, but... Huey, Dewey, and Louis Zissou. Crazed, or for some reason it can't compete for the food where it normally feeds. Whatever the reason, here it is. The reason is Jaws made $500 well, million the, at the uh, box office. The record length is uh, a little over 28 feet, and uh, the only vulnerable points are... Uh, uh, well, how do I put this? Uh, well, that's not a remora hanging off it. Uh, hell, Ron. Come on, you do. Right, his weak points are the base of the head and below the dorsal. Sorry, he had a heart attack and during that last word, below the, the dorsal. The two areas. Because the great white shark, you cannot scare off. Who suggested Not scaring the, the shark away? <laughs> Especially because he's had his taste of human flesh. You can blame Ed Glover for being so succulent and delicious. Because it's not this hunger that he wants to satisfy. He wants to kill. And he's willing to kill to get what he wants. Which is he to has kill. Two choices. One. Get out of his way. Ah, don't stand in the killer shark's way. This guy is an expert. The other. Is to hold your ground. The third is to cancel the windsurfing regard. Oh, that well, obviously we'll do that. Yeah. Tried to kill him because he didn't have another choice. Any questions? Yeah, can you say Darsa again? <laughs> Ugh, sounds like Steely Dan. It's like the smell of a dentist's office in musical form.
Hello, fellow Earth human. I enjoy the jogging. It's indicated on my shirt of sweat. Almost lunchtime, bros. Let's hit the sack. Gotta hurry. One of those weird old guys with big headphones and a metal detector is coming by to tuck them in soon. I've been a naughty harbor seal. Club me, baby. <laughs> Nothing says romance like sandy orifices. <laughs> you guys I love my new walrus blood hair conditioner the heartbreak of Baywatch disease Next, she steps on a hypodermic needle in slow motion, has to go to the ER in slow motion, gets a tetanus shot in slow motion. They're paying me in chum. Well, tough luck this beach has a shark problem and a time-slowing dimensional vortex. I had a similar method to keep my drunk Uncle Gary out of the family reunion. Chewed through it, though. (laughs) I believe it was Jacques Cousteau who once said, The ocean is a giant toilet of death. (laughs) Oh no, he ate the underwater soccer team! Adam West's shark repellent would have been more effective. Oh, poor kids thought they were filming a Juicy Fruit commercial. Ah, Wi-Fi must have come back up. Brought to you by Shark Ball. Yeah, it's a good thing this was the last shark because they kind of seem like dicks. Yes, good. Zoom in to cut off the Getty Images watermark. Nobody will be able to tell. second in his last race. It was really impressive because his potato sack had somehow caught on fire. <laughs> That's right, ladies. You're looking at the owner of an IBM personal computer. Hey, Jenny, the car. No, no, not that one. That's not that one. The other shark movie. Oh. Oh, for the love of God, down. shut the door! Shut the door! I see you as the sun is going down. Oh, little Cadillac, I'm riding across the well, Where are they going to go to the bathroom now that the folk singer took over the porto potty? I'll bring you free flies, I'll make you more to coffee. All you got to say is... It's Bob Berto Dillantini. Usually with this many shirtless guys in one place in the 80s, you'd expect a karate rivalry to break out. Mmm, fresh Pope. <laughs> yeah, guess the joke's on us guys. Evidently, regional windsurfing regattas outdraw the Super Bowl. 
Oh, good. Cheerleaders in horror movies always mean someone's going to die soon. They're like banshees. Yes, that's right, folks. I have smooched all of the cheerleaders, some with tongue. One of them let me go under the shirt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mayor, we haven't had clean drinking water in two years. That's terrific. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ugh, gotta go take a bath and hand sanitizer. Gloria, you look lovely today. Don't I always? Yes, of course. I'm glad to see Peter could make it. So am I. And my mustache makes three of us. <laughs> it's the guess what I'm holding in my pockets club. You sure you men know enough to keep their hardware out of sight? Now we've gone over all that way. All right, well, I've got to go start planning next year's regatta. Go ahead with the press conference. We don't be ready, Mr. Wilson. All right, I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Gentlemen? My hair isn't going to re-feather itself. It's been 200 years since our town was won from the native inhabitants in a rigged game of musical chairs. Get him started, man. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, nothing's gonna happen. I swear on my father's grave, this carefree American beach montage shall continue unabated. I am ready for the cold embrace of watery death. Hope so. West Coast jocks, so I guess you'll give us a run for it. I think they're wearing those plates just to scare you guys. They're probably from up north. And they killed a salesman from California and stole his license plates just to scare you. Stand up to the best of them. Let's go. So long, Mr. Ben. So long. Dave, please be careful. But also win, because evidently worldwide fame is possible for a champion windsurfer. Competitors to the starting point. I have far away make look be closer goggles. I'm not fooling around here, people. Get in the water or I start I shooting. Behind the starting point. Yeah, that's right. Camera three, start rolling. And just film the race, Donnie. I don't want any of that capturing the human condition Good, crap again. Hmm, impossible to make him out, but I'll assume he's informing us that this is a double elimination regard. Over to the judges' platform for a shot of the start. All right, Bob. On the way. I see some riders making last-minute blood sacrifices to Neptune. That's good strategy, kiddo. Won't have to attack at the start. I assume Elvis and the president are honorary co-starters for an event of this magnitude. I'd like to see that shark go through those nets. They were the most expensive ones in the Oriental Trading Company catalog. I don't know how to swim. I hope that doesn't come up. Four! I love you, Mr. Wells! One! Sadly, every single contestant considers himself windsurfing's bad boy. <laughs> Come on, Dave, go for it! Meanwhile, guitar hippie has collapsed in his box and is drowned in his own pooled sweat. <laughs> to make the race more exciting, the crowd is allowed to use sniper rifles starting at the two-minute mark. Joe Esposito is furious he wasn't asked to score this scene. How are we going to know if they're the best around? Well, he could have had a great career in subway announcing. That was a famous windsurfing scout from Yale. My aunt had one of those to keep track of her shark. Super handy. Let me have the glass. Come on, 
Why is he the only one who can see it? Get them up. My God, they all have inner ear infections. Everyone, get out of the water now. Finally, proof of the haunted buoy that killed my grandfather. Now see, this is what happens when you don't wait an hour after lunch before going in the water. Just uh, wipe your feet, okay? Oh, no gum. Spit it out. That little French kid's red balloon is attacking us. Get on shore. Everyone <laughs> Magically levitate out of the water, I command you. Come on, get on the boat here. Wow, that's it. Fantastic. It is? Well, he's Italian. He thinks Roberto Benigni is fantastic. He's not concerned about the sharks. He just thinks his windsurfing sucks. If everyone could shriek more, kind of incomprehensibly, I, I really think it would help. Well, the Committee for Really Boring Teenage Windsurfing Regattas is not going to be happy about this fiasco. At this point, the shark just has pity on them. Jeez, never mind. Just go eat a manta ray or something. Guys, guys, this is the last shark. We just have to get through this one, then everything's fine. <laughs> the shark pushed me. Does he see anyone not hurrying? Is that the problem here? <laughs> Sharks. Known for killing by throwing people 40 feet in the air. Lovely. Come on, zoom in. Help, I'm drowning! Somebody help! I'm gonna grab a hot dog while everyone's distracted. Nice. There's no one to blame now, nothing to... Mr. Wells, aside from hosting teen regattas, just what the hell do you do for a living? I can't make a statement now. But didn't you take the proper security precautions? Hey, just hold it there. I said hold it. Security measures were taken. All right, just doing a check here. Which of the many mustache guys am I? I've seen anything like it my whole life. I've hunted shark all over the world. So put that in your paper. But security measures, they were taken. Put it in the paper next to Ziggy, will you? I, I like that little guy. The shark! The shark! He's coming back! Ah, he came back to see who won the regatta. Everybody scream like you're at a One Direction concert. Sharks hate that. What the? The shark hit a whammy or lose on match game or something? Hey, I guess we're doing this now. Uh, I guess. And, and what is this again? Uh, maybe we'll find out. Maybe not. Well, I put the thing in the thing, and, and then I put the thing on it. So now I'll attach it to the thing. And uh, I'm biting this thing. That's good, good. <laughs> Things. Bill, you're the one who made the decision to go ahead with race. Politics is decisions. Legless, armless, headless nude lady? Any thoughts? Politics? Ah. Uh. Paul, suppose we save that bullshit for the voters. 
is the cameraman hiding behind a liquor no, cabinet? Man, Get out here and do your job. Benton and Hammer are the best there is. But they're not ready for government. Which means you don't think I should either, right? Look. I'm going to go over here and light the another press, cigarette. In the press, and we haven't got much of an answer. What do you want me to do, go down there and kill the goddamn thing myself? Back then, every office had its own willy aims. It'll take something spectacular for me to keep our key people aboard. Oh. I got a feeling. Just a feeling. Down in front! That you're passing the buck. I think you're the one who wants to back out of this. Let me just get out of the shot. Will you stop following me? Bill, I'm in this to win. So I want to be sure I'm backing a winner. Bottom line is that you've got to be responsible for the destruction of the I don't like when they speak in loud voices. Uh. And not by next week. Now. Getting out of worse spots. I'll get out of this one. I swear it by my Polly Blend JC Penny dress shirt. Yeah. Mustache. For your sake. Don't you point that dumb blank face at me. Stop it! Don't worry. We'll make it. We always have. Blankness back at you. I am a grizzled sea captain and stuff. Well, I got the dynamite here. <laughs> I've got the dynamite here. I ended a couple shower early with that very same line. Don't again like a Ruba. I wait a minute. That was a bad shot, and you know it. it. Just went off a little early, that's all. Put you out of commission for 18 months. That's your warning. Mmm, you salted caramels. Feet 30 feet. Let's talk about the dynamite. Hey, let's talk about it. Just going to be used as a backup. You know, there's love to be a mighty big fish down there. Oh, God, please just stop with the Quint it. impression. It sounds like it's causing you physical pain to okay, even Commander. attempt it. Never tease a man with that much shoulder hair. He'll bite you. On the other hand, could be he's right into the boat. Hey, he falls flat with us, but if you were Italian, you'd be laughing right now. But this was in English. It was? He's going to come around in a hurry. He doesn't read so much as ship captain as he does old timey strongman. In the locker, there's some tie ropes and clips. Now, if we need them, we're going to need them fast. Just say the word, Skipper. Hey, Bill, could you hand me that pencil? Yeah. Just say the word. I, I just said the word. Could you hand it to me? <laughs> you just let me know. I'm letting you know now. Say the word, Mike. Would you give me the pencil? Merely speak it and it shall be done. Okay. What if your old man comes looking for his boat? No way. Could have just said the word. Besides, we haul that monster in the port. He's gonna be one proud papa. Local kids avenge friends' death. Kill killer shark. I can see it on the network news already. It'll be right after the story. What Three drunken idiots it? die in fiery boat wreck during you know shark killing say? celebration. You ought to make a pack not to come home without it. I'm in. Me too. I saw a hobo with a shotgun, so I took his See. shotgun. A okay, All you right. guys, the have your artillery. <laughs> okay, go on, but not in a love in an elevator kind of way, I hope. Can you read me? Yeah, I got you fine. Me too. I didn't ask about right, you, no. Gloria. Sometimes you just gotta dunk your thermal coffee mug in the ocean. Oh, yeah. Gloria, would you uh, lower this one down? I don't feel like doing it, and well, you're a girl. I want a divorce. Bye! You can't travel anywhere without his lucky ice scraper. She's the fourth angel that Charlie fired years ago and forgot he's still paying. Back it up. Straight out. 
Oh, you mean like I've done thousands of times before because it's my job? Hi, Mr. Olufsen. Hi, We're going out to uh, shoot some blues off Eagle. Also, Where's are you that? someone we've already met in this I film? Make... Every guy over 30 looks exactly you know like every other guy. Off? Sure it does. You told me I could. Okay. Can you come back in if the wind turns northeasterly. You hear? You bet. Nothing to worry about, Mr. Olufsen. That horrible Greek fisherman's cap will never go out of style, by the way. Be careful there. If the movie were nothing but 90 minutes of this, I would be completely on board. They use little stock footage. Nobody know the difference. Hell no, I promised Harry a network pickup. A network pickup? That's a truck with a bed stacked full of Dan Rathers. Things I do for show business. Look at that. I want to have that baby swim right across well, the screen. There's obviously no sharks around here, they that's for sure. They can... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I hope that Quint guy's diving mask has a mustache on it, otherwise how will we tell him apart? Oh, man, this is a pulse-pounding action sequence. If you've never seen human beings swimming before. Right, so if you're, say, an 11th century Bedouin, you are so entertained right now. Oh, hang on, guys. I'm getting a text from an 11th century Bedouin. Uh, you do not speak for me. This movie is a wet pile of sh... Ooh, and there's just a bunch of Bedouin profanities. Wow. They're searching for the rare cave-dwelling great white shark, also known as the giant water bat. Been, uh, been talking to Richard Terry. <laughs> Yeah, good idea, though, to start by eliminating places he 100% won't be. Next, they're checking out a Hallmark store in Billings, Montana. The shark! Ah! Ah! Sorry, I was just shouting out nicknames of golfer Greg Norman. Okay. Why? What happened? Never mind what happened. Let's just start a new scene. Ooh, coil the line is her delicate way of saying she's going to absolutely destroy the ship's toilet. Are you sure there are a lot of pheasants out here? All right. Still my theme music, huh? You know, I'll come back when you got something better. Sorry, guys, didn't mean to alarm you. I was just loudly naming my favorite brand of upright vacuum cleaners. Oh, and look on screen, a, a, a shark. Huh. <laughs> Man, long day. His stick. The stick that he jammed directly into a giant shark's mouth somehow got bit down upon and broke! Now you blew up my stick, you ass! Where's my stick? <laughs> Little movie trivia? In the original Italian version, the shark actually says, Mamma mia! I bang on my shark ahead against the wall! Marvel sees this, makes him one of their characters, and gives him the line, I'm the shark, bitch. He did that just so he could tell his friends. See that pile of rocks over there? I bet he did. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm trying to remove these boulders, but I have no hands. I can only headbutt, and that is not working again. I, I apologize. Well, looks like they better get used to eating Krabby Patties. The last 12 pages of the script simply read, 
glug glug, bubble bubble bubble, bang bang, bang bang, gurgle gurgle, bubble, they swim. Whoa, if they don't make it out, do you have any idea what that means? No, what? Sorry, I was actually asking, do you have any idea what that means? Because I've completely lost the thread here. Is this a Warner Brothers cartoon? Well, now would be a good time to cut to that guy in the exploding boat flying 40 feet into the air. Mm-hmm. No? You disappoint me, the last shark. Then the script reads, red light on metal thing, gurgle, gurgle, bubble, bubble, glug, glug, they swim. <laughs> Look! I can turn on my central air conditioning even when I'm not home. Oh, God, I brought the wrong remote. Now my house won't be air conditioned. No air conditioning! All the pulse-pounding underwater action of the credits on a Diver Dan episode. Wait a sec, you had O2? I was breathing O1. No wonder I've been sleepy. I think they severely misread the recipe for corned beef. Hey, Billy Joe! Slow down at drumming speed! The fifth or sixth greatest American hero. You're gonna take this air and like it, buddy. You know what I went through for you? Oh, please. The mouthpiece tastes like blue cheese after you use it. If you see a sand dollar down there, grab it for me. I saw this neat stencil idea on Pinterest. Hey, look what I found. An idiot who doesn't know what blast radius means. And who designed this trap? Rube Goldberg, you said? Guys, I don't think this is the right time to sort through things for goodwill. Jenny, yell when you spot it, huh? Are you kidding? <laughs> Dorsal! <laughs> Dorsal! <laughs> uh, see if there's a Deadpool costume for him, too. Did we get him? He damn near got you. I never saw anything like that. Your wanton disregard for safety and logic. No, we did not get him. Wells' boat. Folks, if you wondered how the crotch panels on a scuba outfit are stitched, behold. (sighs) Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. (laughs) Great Jaws reference, Mike. Jaws reference? I can turn my head this way. I, too, can turn my head. Well, I'd say he was at least 30 feet long, and that's a conservative estimate. You say Shore that? towns can't get enough stories it's about failed far. fishing trips. Just kept coming. You gotta look at him. You gotta look at him, Mr. Wells. It was eye to eye. Don't you mean doll's eye to back. eye? <laughs> I always just crossed you on your way out. What are you talking about? I haven't had my boat all week. Your boy took your boat out, Mr. Wells. How dare you speak to me with that hat? Okay. There were four of them. You're Jenny, too, Mr. Benton. You said they were going off Eagle Rock. My sport coat is lacking boat anchors. Excuse me. Come on, stop thinking about your waistlines, mermaids. Live a little. Conjoined circle POV hey, shot that binoculars don't actually produce. Hey, it's over there. Come on! Come on! Knock it out of the park. This pitch has got nothing. Shouting and firing a weapon on a boat. Isn't that on the floor in a state quarter? <laughs> Hey, 
keep nudging the shooter. That's that's fine. I shot 40 feet in the air when I did that. Oh, complimentary shiatsu, huh? Thanks. Uh, that's what did. I stop. No, 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 too hard, too hard. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. I'm jamming the throttle. It's bumper to bumper on the 405, and only we can cover it, man. Atomic batteries to stalling, turbines to tedious. Why don't we lower the bait? That should counterbalance our corpses. I know how to stack boulders. You think I'm falling for this, kids? Sharks have powerful, uh, what are those things, uh, make the bottom teeth go up and down? Uh, jaws? No, that's not it. The ninth chop was so much scarier than the first eight! Kill it! No! what, the shark? I didn't sign up for that! Conspiracy theorists are still trying to pin this one on Robert Wagner. Judd Hirsch's corpse from Sharknado put up a better fight against the sharks. That's the shark version of chewing on a toothpick to look cool. Clear the way. I got a shark with a femur stuck in its gum line. It'll be okay, sweetie. Just hold the camera still and try to keep everyone in frame. That's it. Honey, if they give you fruit cocktail, can I have it? Can I have your fruit cocktail? Oh, the shark really knows how to make a gal feel pampered. Ah, I always knew I'd die after dangling meat roasts from aluminum poles. You know, it'd be really unlucky if they were playing ZZ Top in the operating room. <laughs> because of the song Legs, right? No, just that they'd have to listen to ZZ Top. Ooh. Well, could being a letterman in high school track cut any red tape? Peter, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. If hadn't been for your helicopter, we'd have lost her for sure. How about a forced perspective it's kiss? <laughs> well, you had no way of knowing they were going to take your boat. Yeah, but I should have known. It's how I got the nickname the Clairvoyant Mayor. It's been more than an hour. Can't you tell me something? My glasses should have been finished by now. Dad, I only wanted to help you. And grow a damned mustache! Well, my trip to Argen is ruined, thanks a lot. How can I keep from silently conveying an emotion? Just stare blankly? Uh, maybe glance to the side? Uh, I'll think of something. She'll be fine. My collar unzips to reveal a hood. Oh, God. It just isn't fair. Comfort me technically adequate but thoroughly unlistenable music. Put 
grow a mustache on... Oh, that's right. <laughs> All visitors with skateboard designs, please wait by the blank decks. Mr. Benton, she's awake now if you'd like to see her for a few minutes. But it sure would comfort her if you could grow a mustache she real quick. No, she's still pretty groggy from the Another anesthetic. One. She'll feel her missing leg for months, perhaps for a year. Depending on how well we saran wrap it and the free space in your fridge. Well, there's no need to say anything. I think the doctor likes you. Please play hard to get. I can't. I'm not ready. Help yourself to a giant tongue depressor until I return. Let's get this baboon heart to Cedar Sinai. Then we'll take care of that shark. Wells Co. A division of Heinlein, Bradbury, and Asimov. We'll see who's crowned Mr. Raising Arizona this year. You were just lying there. Blood all over your leg. Not moving. Anyway, that's the plot to Misery. How are you? I ran over to you and I started to pick you up. You were so little. That you were going to sue your own father. I knew you didn't want me to help you. You wanted to do this one yourself. So I, I backed off and... Abandoned the family for a few years. I watched you wipe off the blood and the gravel from your leg. And you got up and you... You stared down at that great big bicycle like it was... Some kind of wild animal. Like one of those grizzlies with wheels and a little ding ding bell. And you picked it up. It must have been twice as big as you. Kind of shook it. Called it a bunch of filthy names. Got back on and down the road you went again. I remember my, uh, my heart skipped a couple of beats. Yeah, he sure is relaying that excitement. <laughs> Hardly out of it. <laughs> Two legs each, and oh, sorry, that was the worst thing I could have said. I did, I don't know why I did it. You're gonna walk out of this hospital. I mean, hopping is a form of walking. Sorry, again, what's wrong with me? Walk. And with that great big grin back on your face again, I promise you. Your old dad stocked up on Joker gas at Sam's Club. <sighs> Stop the endless boring monologue. Help me. Help me. Daddy, please. Kill it. Kill it! Yep, my ah! reaction the first time I saw Mike Myers' cat in the hat. <laughs> oh, a lot of instruments. How do you fly this thing? <laughs> I thought you knew. <laughs> We're going to die horribly. We sure are. There it is. The Great Pacific Making Garbage Patch. So beautiful. Okay, take us down lower. Low enough to the ocean that it's plausible I'd strip down to a speedo. Basically how you fed your teenage sons, right, Mike? Oh, yeah. I mean, I couldn't always afford the helicopter rental, but it really helped to keep some distance between the huge hunk of meat in their mouths. Sure. Just lost an arm a few times. <laughs> Kids. This pop-up restaurant fad has gone too far. Family jump for the good stuff. I hate to be overly skeptical, but uh, 
I'm not sure he's thought this through. <laughs> Corbett family Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I doubted his plan. See, it's to go up. Oh. You know, Strom Thurmond used to bait sharks like this before his group in the runs. That's the cartoon with the super sad first 10 minutes that I couldn't remember before. Up! Oh, my poor fapping scars! Hang on, Hardy! Next time, send Laurel and Hardy out there. Couldn't do worse. A Sanders man to the bitter end. Well, again, his commitment to going up gives me faith. Oh, why did we balance the chopper with canola oil before we left? Bernie! Lower the lady shark costume, Bernie. I got him where I want him. Maybe CGI isn't all that bad after all. <laughs> Throw down some band-aids, Bernie. Bernie, only mildly interested in this unfolding tragedy. Wow, oh, cool. I'll keep it next to Amelia Earhart's plane. Chopper, they could help with his spotting. Right. Sorry, I accidentally sounded non sarcastic. I meant right. The golden days of television journalism were run out of mom's old station wagon. <laughs> Done the shopping? You bet. All the 20 pounds. Let's have a look at it. Now, let's hope he hasn't gone elsewhere. I want to entice him right down the lens. Me behind it, you ain't. That's spare ribs? No, I need all these Very ribs. Get your own. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that in me yet? Cinematographer looked through his viewer and said, You know what? Eat it, Golden Ratio. Ron? Some debris floating off to starboard. Wait, his name is Ron? So he's Captain Ron. <laughs> right. I'll well, take a closer look. Man, wonder if the ocean had to join SAG for this movie. Look, a volleyball with a crude painted face survived. Thank God. Eagle Rock again. He's made this his place. He's down there now. I can feel it. Or maybe I'm just feeling that sardine salad I ate for lunch. Either way, feeling fishy. Luring the shark with meat has a 100% deadly track record now. Let's try luring him with meat. Please, can we stop at the lingering shots of wet pork? <laughs> How'd I manage to come up in the septic tank? Look, boss, cricket lighters cost $1.49. Stop making me dive for it. Shark said he'd be back. That's funny. I might smile okay. later. Let's get to work on the camera. Do you think this thing's gonna work? It's sure worth a try. I'm gonna bring that king size killer shark into millions of living rooms, and you'll be on your way to the network. My star camera. Put on a shirt, Mark Spitz. Yeah. The answer is no. 
This is my boat. Those are my orders. No, damn it. That's my shark run. Has to be. I swear it by my <laughs> red, strangely padded ass. That's just your shark. <laughs> Where's your daughter's leg? The other bodies out there. The more to come if we don't end this thing. Jesus, Peter. Don't you think I know the pain you're going through? I mean, look how the salt air is frizzing out my hair. He's down there. He's down there now. He's waiting to attack. It's been his path just before he makes an attack. And this is the only thing we have to stop him. And there's only one dynamite belt. So what's the sense in risking both our necks? You no, know, for a makeupless clown, he's quite brave. I've been killing shot most of my life. Well, you have been right most of your life. So I'm the expert here. And that's what it's going to take to kill a bastard. James Franciscus is offline for the day. Sorry. I need you on the ship. If I'm in trouble down there, you're the only one that can bail me out. Now, is what I'm saying make any sense to you? Your mood swings scare me. (laughs) All right, all right. Let's let's stop arguing about it like a bunch of damn fools and get on with it. Jesus. Hug first? Hmm? Sometimes you can be a real pain in the ass, you know that? Also, your wetsuit. You need to go up a size, maybe two. It's all right. I want to make sure you're f- safe because I f- cherish you. <laughs> you know, on second thought, you're probably a better scuba diver than I am, so maybe you're the one who should go. Ah! Yeah, Mage grabbed my spear gun. So childish. Well, if he's going to be like that, then I'm raiding his supply of chips ahoy. I'll guard against, um, seagulls. Yeah. Well, there's one thing the James Bond movie Thunderball proved. People just can't get enough long underwater sequences. Uh, No, Mike, Thunderball proved that people can very much get enough of long underwater sequences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, can we agree at least that Thunderball proved Sean Connery had a very impressive watertight toupee? Agreed. See, it's good to talk these things out. Yeah, thanks. Waiter, check, please. Oh, never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> the ultimate dine and dash. Killing me with this lame theme. Hey, how about we license Peter Gunn? I'll, I'll pay half. Oh, my God, the tension. Will these random images relate to each other spatially or in terms of story in some way eventually? Who knows? Something somewhere might be broken, sort of. Seagulls? There's a redder wetsuit in here. I need a worthier opponent, like a little kid with a minnow net. Life and death, sure, but it's always time for a fun little flip. I really shouldn't have shot this in a vat of beef bullion. <laughs> the captain took less than a minute to get hopelessly tangled up. I don't think this one's on the shark. Yeah, you couldn't see it with the shot, but he also got each foot stuck in a separate bucket. I got my flippers stuck together. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, 
I don't think we require this particular view of his undercarriage. Appreciate it, but not required. Yeah, very much appreciate it. <laughs> oh, we had the briefest bit of hope that the mask would come off and then some long, luxurious brunette hair would tumble out and it would be Jacqueline Bissett from the deep. Well, luckily it's the next best thing, Mike. James Franciscus from this movie. That, quite how I would have put it, but sure. Just have nice nipples up there. <laughs> So, a Boston fella, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, you can smell the clam chowder. <laughs> hey, guarantee, first thing he says will be about parking his car in Harvard Yard. You, uh, Briley? Martin? Yeah. Bob Martin. Good to see you. All right. I'm feeling kind of vulnerable these days, so, right, you know. Uh, I could, oh, uh, you're not there. really interested. Okay. put the bait at the end of the pier. We'll have a remote camera covering the action. Well, if your shark shows up, it'll be over real fast. Hi, wet pork back again. You know you want me. <laughs> I know. How was she when you left? She's much better. They gave her a sedative. She's asleep now. Totally undramatic shot of small shark tension steam. She's gonna need a friend now. More than ever. Hmm. What's the television here for? Helping fish some blood, as usual. Mm. <laughs> I guess extras night. were paid in hash good. brownies. Out like uh, a uh, now, this little baby's special. See these shells? Each one has an amusing limerick inscribed on it. Second and a half detonation. Enough for a charged open up a tank. Hey, what'll that do to my camera? You just keep them out of the line of fire. <laughs> you bet. Giant squid, Kraken, another Kraken. Damn it, where's that shark? Now you have a chance to live up to your reputation. Don't worry, just a fish. Camera jock better be fast. There's a reason they call him the denim bullet. Bing, bing. Plink, plunk. Hey, pork. Meanwhile, in a child's bathtub not far away. Who's the guy with the gun? A question overheard at a Cracker Barrel somewhere every second of every day. Mark, fight me. Wow, sounds like they lured the shark using delicious, healthy cash. <laughs> and yet it's still a better pier than Piers Morgan. I've got a lobster dinner warming up on my manifold. <laughs> Joe, we're in business at last. Get out of the pier, quick. Come on, hurry up. Yes, Joe's on the way, you guys. Joe, 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 Joe. Joe, Joe. 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 This is why I never walk out on hastily constructed detachable docks. Jimmy, can you hear me? Yeah, sure, man. Somebody get us some help down here before this shark has us for lunch. Call the Coast Guard. Uh, sure, I'll contact them immediately. Man, what a scar. <laughs> He's hoping I have enough sriracha. Hey, come on, hurry up. Get a boat out to us. No, we're good. So we got rid of my grandma. Hell, if we were going to pay for her dialysis. You gotta do what you gotta do. Huh? Ice flow's not available. <laughs> Looks like we're our own country now. I'm Secretary of Agriculture. Oh, damn it, why didn't I call President? Come back. We'll swim ashore. Grandma, you kidding? If it's just going to continue to surface and roar, then I think you'll all be fine. Oh, big pussy cat. Ah! 
Don't mind me, folks. Just need a little fiber. Seriously, people, I'm blocked like Sam Coleridge here. I haven't wanted this many people to drown since one of those cruises hosted by 311. Where the hell are you? I'm back to form, baby! Wait, how far did that guy fly? Several feet! Damn it, I'm losing my touch. We have lost our Sonny Bono lookalike. I repeat, our Sonny Bono lookalike is in the water. Ah, box of briefs constricting my nethers like a python. A nap too. Critics react to the latest Adam Sandler project. How oh, could you, Netflix? Ooh, the shark specializes in ironic kills. He wrote an entire season of Tales from the Crypt. Brand precisely right home pump kit ruined. No, his signature western apparel is impeding his escape. Not the character we met mere moments ago and who was clearly written into the script as an auxiliary victim, no! Shark's gonna spit him out once he discovers his pockets are stuffed with stale old gold cigarettes. Inside the cabin, Peter quickly hides his senior frog's takeout boxes. Our friend the shark is in the pocket of big dental floss. Oh <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> what if this is how Tor hired all got started? Probably not. No, no. no. <laughs> Mr. Benton, we meet again, but this time the advantage is mine. <laughs> uh, Shark, if you let me go, I'll show you how to make a bitchin' driftwood coat rack. Yeah, that's how my old man would do it. Anytime he caught me taking a bite of a pier, jetty, or wharf, he'd sit there and make me eat the whole thing until I was sick. Wow, strict. Please, God, don't let me die dressed like the label on a can of deviled ham. The secret ingredient to making Vic Morrow soup? Vic Morrow. Mm-hmm. Peter, Pete, 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 don't move me, man. My neck and spine are like, oh, God! Vertebrae collapsing like Jenga blocks. Spinal cord severed. Ability to speak dorso. <laughs> if you're not doing anything with them, I've got an idea. But don't say no right away. You can't do this to my friend. He was in the bad news bears. No one remembers him, but he was. Oh, damn it. 
grab this pager. What kind of dingus still carries a pager? <laughs> well, I guess I'll just sit here and watch a shark slowly devour my dear friend. Well, really taking his time there. Migrain can feel like Vic Morrow exploding inside your head. Well, if I've learned one thing from this movie, it's that good lord people go out in the ocean with explosives way more than I ever imagined. <laughs> it's all over. At last, our waters are free of danger. All known oceanic perils have been totally defeated. And here we are on the spot with the story. As folks, this is Bob Martin on the scene with our local hero, Peter Bent, who made it all possible. Actually, that's a large so forklift. Ah, <laughs> uh, here he comes. Dude, that stuff we couldn't possibly have seen from here was totally badass. Mr. Benton, would you say a few words for our TV audience, please? <laughs> How does it feel to be a hero? Mr. Benton, please, you've got to say something. That's for informing the public of noteworthy local happenings. It's okay. Here you go, hon. Ignore all those copies of Fangoria magazine and those empty Yoo-Hoo cans. And with that, we bid a weirdly somber farewell to a movie whose original Italian title was Signor Spielberg, please do not sue us, for we are but the poor Italian peasants. Right. And if, by chance, you happen upon this copy of Signore Spielberg, please do not sue us, for we are but poor Italian peasants anywhere but our site, we ask that you go to rifttracks.com slash donate and, you know, feed the Vic Morrow of restitution into the shark's mouth of our online donation system. And if you refuse, damn you! hurt myself jumping. Keep your pork wet, everyone. So long. Wet pork. It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.